Hello, hello, hola, 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 amigos, amigas. Welcome to Lima, Peru. Once again, welcome to my home. Welcome to the capital of this wonderful country related with history and the Incas and, you know, the, the ancient societies. A country that also is a country of fusion, of multiculturality. Peru is not just the land of the Incas, it's the land of the many colors and the many flavors. And that's one of the reasons why today's class is about Spanish, because in the times of the Incas, we spoke Quechua. Quechua was the um, common language, was the frank language uh, that the Incas used to expand their territory. But uh, when the Spaniards came, when the conquistadors came, they introduced a complete different way of seeing the world, a complete different religion, and of course, a different language, the Spanish language. So today, Peruvians and Latin Americans use Spanish also as a frank language, as a language uh, for communicating, as a language that also expresses who we are in our hearts. Also many of the different, um, let's say, ways of speaking in Latin America have elements that are connected with the ancient societies that live in those locations. Today, we're going to learn Peruvian Spanish. And of course, this uh, language, Peruvian Spanish, is going to help you to travel everywhere in Latin America. Actually, Peruvians are known to have a very neutral accent in comparison to other, uh, let's say, nationalities in Latin America. Uh, also, the Spanish from Spain, the Castilian, has its own accent. But with Peruvian Spanish, you're going to be able to travel everywhere with no complications. So before we begin, I would like to say hi to all the people joining today and also would love to know if you are new to Hago or new to my channel. Uh, I would like to give you a proper welcome into my channel if possible. Hola, Caro. Hello, Marlene. Hola, hola. Hi, Natalie. Thanks for coming. Hello, Jeanette, Ada. Cari. Hola, hola, amiga. Thanks for coming. Muchas gracias. Gertrude. Hola. Hola, que tal? Hello. Thanks for coming. Hola, hola, amigos. Marilu. Thanks for coming. Thanks for visiting Lima today. And I hope you are ready for learning Spanish. Hola. Hola, Kaylin. Hola, Eva. Hello, hello. Muchas gracias, Marlene, for your tip support. As you know, uh, these tours that we host in Hago, which sometimes are not exactly tours, they could be classes uh, like the one of today. They are all free and just supported with a tip. So if it's in your possibilities to support this event with a tip, that would be super fantastic because you're not just helping your local guy, you're also helping Hago to continue existing as a free platform. You can also donate tip uh, during the whole event, even after the end of this event. So you don't need to do it right away if you are pref you prefer to focus more in the uh, class. Hola, Clive, amigo. <laughs> Hola, thanks for coming. Hola, Sue, Mary, Joy. Thanks a lot for being today. And well, now I think we are ready to begin with our class. I know that some of you have been recurrent in my previous classes. Sponsorship program is a way also that Hago has created to sustain the platform and the guys also uh, through a $10 fee every month. You're able to receive different presents from the guides. In my case, I am giving to my sponsors two private Zoom lessons. Uh, so as a way to continue practicing also Spanish. So where is everyone? <laughs> oh, yes, Marlene, no worries. Maybe they have Peruvian time. You know, we take time to go everywhere. <laughs> so um, as they are coming, I, I will be also preparing the event that we're going to start now in less than a minute. So um, I would like to tell you, first of all, that in the previous classes, this is really like a more like a reminder, you know, like a resuming what we have done before. Uh, the first class was about practicing the alphabet. Oh, um, also, the second class was about the numbers. Um, we were able to go up to the number 100, no, sorry, 999. 
And now I would like to jump into the uh, numbers of four digits. So in that way, you will be able to, for example, when you are checking on dates and years, you can also properly speak the years according to, you know, like when you're doing your booking, for example, or if you want to check, you know, your bookings, because this is Spanish for traveling. Okay. So now we're going to begin this class. I think everybody's here. So let me now turn off my light here so in that way you can see better what's in the computer. And I would like to do something, as always I try to do, hola Martin, hello, um, uh, a little uh, like review of what we have done in the previous class, just to, you know, like lose a little bit, you know, like sometimes we're a little bit nervous when we're learning a new language. So the idea is just to, you know, like get used to by hearing also uh, the sounds of, for example, the lessons that I'm trying to teach you in this case, the numbers, for example. So you're going to count now with me, please. Oh, so please repeat after me. We're going to, first of all, now remember about the numbers that was part of the class uh, last Friday, uh, two Fridays ago. Uh, so let's continue now. We're going to count from zero uh, to 100, okay? So let's begin. Cero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So after 30, 30, we're going to count as follows. For example, 31, 30 and 1. Okay, 31. Next one would be 32, 33. 34, 35, and that formula will work for all the rest of the numbers uh, until 100, okay? Um, so we're going to go uh, 10 by 10, uh, so we're going to go 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so we've done a little review of the numbers. Now we're going now to go down to the next section. By the way, probably you've noticed uh, that uh, this printable, because this is a printable that have I have created for you all. It is available for free. It is hosted in the following link. All right, so you can download this PDF anytime you wish for free. So you can use it to practice at home, uh, to put some notes there, uh, so just to, to, cap, to keep it handy. So in that way, you will be able to uh, also practice in when we are not doing these classes. Gracias, Martin. Thank you, amiga. Muchas gracias. This is a printable PDF. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, dear. So now we're going to also um, try to remember, you know, that something that we've done last class also was counting, you know, like the hundreds, right? So um, also a curiosity here, as in the case, the previous case, when we were counting, for example, 36, it was 36, so, so very easy formula. If you have memorized the numbers from 1 to 10, 20, uh, uh, you can definitely write with no limitations the rest of the numbers. Um, so in the case of the 100, for example, when you are writing 200, it is 
like dos, two, cientos, oh, like related to the hundreds. Oh, so when you say in English, you said 200, right? You don't say two hundreds, but we do. We say sort of like two hundreds, something like that. So dos cientos, tres cientos, cuatro cientos, quinientos. We don't do cinco cientos. No, no. Oh, this is something you have to memorize. Quinientos. That's five hundred. Seiscientos. Setecientos. In this one, we don't say sietecientos. No. Siete is the number seven. But we say sete. Setecientos. Oh, we say ochocientos. Oh, novecientos. We don't say nueve. Cientos, we say novecientos, and then the next number is mil, one thousand. So we're going to, uh, let's say, practice uh, uh, the numbers from a hundred, you know, jumping a hundred to a hundred until one thousand, okay? So repeat after me, please. Uh, cien, doscientos, trescientos. 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 y 1000. Yes, Janet, I had a typo. <laughs> I, I don't know why it came here, the double L. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Gracias, gracias, Janet. So, um, also, just to give you some random numbers, um, <laughs> gracias, Janet. Um, I would like to practice with you also, for example, these random numbers, how we say them in Spanish. By the way, uh, my previous class is on YouTube. So, if you would like to see it, like, in detail, like, pause it, you know, this is just a, a, a little, you know, remembering of the previous class for the people who were not able to be there. Huh? Uh, and next, we're going to be doing the numbers 1,000 and more. OK, so, for example, this number will be 102, 102, 221. 221, 399, 399, 473, 473, 515, 515. 648, 648, 763, 763, and this one, 999. In our last class, you were guessing these numbers. Uh, so that's why I'm jumping just to the resulting. So now I would like to practice the following numbers, which are the bigger ones, right? Four digits. Mm -hmm. And welcome to the people that are joining to this class. This is Spanish for traveling here from uh, Lima, Peru. Uh, like uh, your teacher is your local tour guide in Lima City. Um, so the idea of this class uh, and this series of classes is to help you to, um, to travel in Latin America using Spanish. Uh, uh, the idea is to break the ice with the Spanish. So the reason why I'm jumping or, or interested in, in focusing in the four digit numbers is especially because when you travel, for example, when you introduce yourself, um, sometimes, for example, you have to say like dates or years. And when you are saying, you know, years, for example, uh, related with your uh, your birthday, uh, when you were born or when you are doing a booking, for example, um, that is for the future, you need to add the year. Uh, and we're going to try to write the years 
like in, in the full, not just the two last digits. So we're going to now begin with the 1,000, uh, which is mil, okay? So mil, uh, like in the case of the cien, right, when we are jumping to the next, you know, like a uh, number, we see dos mil, right? Once again, dos mil. But in this case, we don't say, you know, like a, in plural, right? Like doscientos. No, we just keep it with mil, dos mil, tres mil, cuatro mil, cinco mil, seis mil, siete mil, ocho mil, nueve mil, diez mil. Okay? So, I would like now to practice with you all the numbers that we have here below. So, I would like you to, uh, sorry, I'm trying to move down the, the page. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do a little exercise over here. I would, yeah, I would like also you to practice or imagine the pronunciation of this number uh, at home, where you are in this moment, okay? So um, we have here eight cases, eight examples of numbers. If you feel like you, will, you would like to type here in the comment section, that would be even better, okay? So we're going to begin with the first one, okay? So if you have a paper, uh, at home, a pen at home. I would like you to do the little exercise at home of trying to imagine what is the way we say this number in Spanish. So the first one is 1002, right? Ah, Martin, muy bien. Cari, very, very good. Marlene, very good. Actually, um, Martin, oh, which she made it smaller, right? Is that's the way? Because in this case, you know, we don't use the um, let's say the, this e between the numbers. No, mil dos. Simple, mil dos. Gracias, Cari. Very close, by the way. Easy. You know, the easier the better. So, meaning that, for example, the next number will be mil tres, mil cuatro, mil cinco, mil seis, mil siete, mil ocho, mil nueve, mil diez, and so on. Right? Next number, please. Let's continue with this one, amigos. Oh, this is 2025. Okay. Who would like to type it? Don't be afraid, please. We are here to learn and to practice. Okay, Caitlin, let's see. 2025. Clive, 2025. Muy bien, Clive. Caitlin, excelente. 2025. Martin. The closest to the correct spelling is you. Something important, amigos, you have to also remember this, and that's why it's important to practice. The numbers between 20 and 30, you know, um, for example, 21, 22, 23, they are almost like 25, but they are not exactly. They are 25, for example, 26. So there, we don't use the, the Y. We use, you know, just one, let's say, word, right? It has the feeling that is 25, but it's really not like that. Uh, so once again, just to give you the correct perspective, and that's the magic also of the computer. So you are getting it, my friends. Huh? You are really, really good. Remember, 21. 22, 23. This is just a matter of memory. 
You have to just memorize that. But when we start counting for from 30, there we see 30 y uno, 30 y dos, right? So, excelente, excelente. Muy bien, amigos. So, we have it clear, okay? Next number, next number. Let's go a little bit below. Sorry. Oh, crazy computer. Okay. So, next number we're going to practice. This one here. Who wants to go? Uh, we have 3,371, uh, 3, okay? So, let me just turn off this. Okay. So, we have 3,371. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have your printables that I have posted for you, probably have there the solution or the answer. Okay. So, anyone ready? Anyone? I am about to tell the number. So, three, two, and one. Okay, no worries. Let me go with this one. It is 3,371. 3,371. Mm -hmm. Sí, es Marlene. Excellent. Woo! 3,371. <laughs> Excellent, Clive. You are very, very good. Very close. 300 and we are missing 71. Uh -huh. <laughs> no worries, Martin. No worries. This one was difficult. Yes, I'm picking not just the easy ones. I'm picking the difficult ones too. Eh? Next one. And this year is very special for me because probably you wonder already. This one here is very special because that is the year I was born. Okay, oh, 1,983. Okay, so who wants to write? 1,983. 1,983. Perfecto, Caitlin. Excelente. That is the year when I was born. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es? Una... Y sí, Juan, esta es una clase de español. <laughs> This is Spanish for traveling. Mm -hmm. This is basic Spanish for traveling. Do you speak Spanish, Juan? <laughs> oh, Juan, no worries. <laughs> this, is a, this is a class of Spanish for traveling. Mm -hmm. Oh, excelente, Juan. Thanks for coming. Well, you can also help the group, too, if you wish. So, next number over here, who wants to go with this one? 5,537. Hmm? 5,537. This one is also tricky, I know. Who wants to go with this one? Okay, let me go now with that one, no worries. 5,537. 5,537. So remember that in the case of the, you know, like 500s, we don't have 500. No, no, no. No, like in the case of, of the other numbers. We have a particular, you know, like name or word for the 500. 500. 5,537. Huh? If you got it, fantastico. Okay. Also, if if you are, you know, taking your time, you know, to do it in your paper better, just give me a thumbs up when you feel that you are ready. Oh, I don't know why this is moving. It's so difficult. Okay, we're going to the last two, I think. Oh, last three. Okay, so next one. Six thousand eight hundred and ninety-two. Okay. You can also write it in a, let's say, in a paper. And when you have it done, give me a thumbs up, okay? If you cannot write it here in the comment section. Uh, so once again, is 6,892, okay? Muy bien. So now I will give you the answer. Huh? 
6,892. Mm -hmm. This is also a good exercise. For example, if you're traveling, you're going to museums and people are talking or the guys are talking about, you know, like a, times in the past. No? Like, for example, you know, like the Caral culture existed 5,000 years ago. La cultura caral existió 5,000 años atrás, right? So in that way, you can, oh, understand, catch the time, right? 6,892, Marlene. Very close, Marlene. Y dos. Muy bien, Marlene. Excelente, Martín. Muy bien, muy bien. Are you hungry, Marlene? No. <laughs> You're eating the egg. <laughs> the Y, sorry, the Y. So next one, we have two more to go to the next section. <laughs> we have the next one, this one here. Huh? So 8,080. 8,080. Mm -hmm. And now I will go with this one. Okay, Natalie, you have it. 8,080, Janet. Muy bien. 8,080, Caitlin. Muy bien, Marlene. Bravo, bravo. This one was a short one, right? This one was a short one. You did it, Mar Natalie? Muy bien, muy bien. Oh, it's getting like a little bit easier for you all. And now the last one. This one here, 9,215. Mm -hmm. So 9,215. Okay, take your time. And in a moment, if you have it ready, just give me a thumbs up or you can also go and write. Mm -hmm. Okay, count down. Three, two, and one. Okay, Marlene says, 9,215. Marlene, very close, huh? In this case, we don't use the E, uh, in between the 215. Very close. Uh, so we say, 9,215. That's it. 9,215. <laughs> yes, Marlene. <laughs> yes, but you know, it's just a matter of memorizing these little details. Mm -hmm. So, 9215, muy bien. Natalie, if it's almost, it is really good still. Okay. So, <laughs> I know, Marlene, it takes time. Uh, sorry, Martin, it takes time, but no worries because the idea is that you will get, you know, familiar with the numbers. So, I think. With this part, you are ready to write, for example, the years, you know, when um, you want, for example, to travel. Here, this is a section where you will be able to read the pronunciation, the writing also of the numbers from 1 to 100. Sorry that I made a long list, but this is a printable for you. So I hope this helps. We're going to the next class. To the next class. I am behind my tripod and cell phone. So it's not so easy. Oh, by the way, this is a section where you can also practice the 1000, right? So 1000, some examples of 1000, like 2000, you know, uh, and, and more, right? So this is to give you an idea how, how you can keep counting more and more, right? So we will continue now with. The class of, you know, the, the third class, the third class. Eh, gracias, Martin, my dear. Uh, there is for the people who just joined the class and, and you would like to continue, you know, practicing Spanish. My friend Martin has shared the link where you can get the free printable. It is free. I have made it as a gift for you all that are interested in learning Spanish. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to leave on one side the numbers. And we're going to continue with the <laughs> really like feeling speaking Spanish. Huh? So it is going to be, well, now the days of the week 
and the months of the year. Because um, when you travel, you need to also be able to book and to save, you know, like dates, uh, or maybe you want to, you know, organize with your local tour guide an activity you want at the end of your trip. So, I mean, if you want to practice Spanish, the, the practicing this, it is fundamental to travel anywhere. So, well, we're going now to practice the days of the week first. Mm -hmm. um, so, días de la semana. Uh, días, days, de la semana uh, from the week. All right? So, let's begin uh, with, of course, Monday. Okay? So, Monday is lunes. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm missing here this one. I'm saying, I'm putting something that is different. Marte is Marth. <laughs> oh, it's the planet. <laughs> so, next one, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. So, Monday is lunes, Tuesday is martes. Wednesday is miércoles, Thursday is jueves, Friday is viernes, Saturday is sábado, and Sunday is domingo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we are going to talk about the months of the year. Mm -hmm. And in a moment, we're going to Again, you know, like I will say each one of the uh, of the words and you please will repeat after me. Okay. So now we're going to focus in the months of the year. Meses del año. The months of the year. Okay. Let's begin. Enero. Febrero. Marzo. Abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. Mm -hmm. Also, I have highlighted in red these endings in the septiembre, noviembre, and diciembre. All right. So you have to memorize also this. Uh, and if you know how to write septiembre, you know, like it would be easier to do noviembre and diciembre, the same endings. Okay. So, I would like you to please tell me now, which one is your birthday in Spanish? Uh, I would like you to write here in the comments, your birthday in Spanish. For example, mine is 15 de septiembre. De 1983. You can skip the year, no worries. <laughs> but you all know already I was born in 1983. Okay. Muy bien, Cari. Abril 9. Okay. 10 de julio, 6 de mayo, 7 de marzo. Muy bien, Marta. Muy bien. Junio. El en agosto 13. 31 de marzo. Muy bien, Clive. Excelente. Excelente. So, I am seeing very many months. Nobody in September. Oh, Caitlin, say de septiembre. We are septembers. We are Virgos. Welcome to the people joining. Caddy, I had one year of Spanish. Oh, Caddy, we're refreshing all the, the Spanish, you know. 
a famous phrase says, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? The idea is to use it. Hmm? So now I want to go to the next section. So in that way, you're going to check if you brought the date of your birthday correctly according to the Spanish pronunciation, okay? Muy bien. We will continue now. Escribiendo la fecha o las fechas, right? Writing the dates. Uh -huh. So, first of all, very important for you to understand this. And this is really, really fundamental, amigos. And it's a big difference between English and Spanish. When you write a date, what is the order in English, for example? You first put the month, then the day, and then the year. Is that correct? Please give me a thumbs up if I am right. Marlene, how is in English? Yes, Kari, yes, yes, Nancy, yes, yes, right? So month first, then the day, and then the year. Ah, Clive, excelente, good to know. Marlene, so in some parts of the world, have you noticed that? In some parts of the world, first is the month, then is the day, and then is the year, right? At least we are right, like we agree in saying that in some countries, the order is different than in others. So why I say this? Why is important to know this? Mm -hmm. In Latin America, we always put, when we put the date, first the day, we go from small to big. First the day, then the month, and then the year, from little to big. For example, like here, 3 de febrero del 2023. Or you can also put just, uh, we say comma, no? This little, you know, like a thing down uh, and separate the month from the year, okay? So why I say this is fundamental? Because, and let me tell you something, I had many, many cases of misunderstandings between my clients and me when they sent the dates they wanted to do the tours. For example, I remember in, you know, I had a client that said something like, uh, okay, we are going to Lima on, you know, like a tour on, uh, it was, the 12th slash 03. So for me, it was the 12th of March. But for him, was, you know, this, it was December the 3rd. So it was like completely different dates. <laughs> and, and I booked the day wrong. <laughs> Very confusing, but you know, it's, it's just the way how it is, right? So when you are traveling in Latin America or when you are talking to someone in Latin America, make sure of clarifying that, well, the, the day, which one is the day, which one is the month, okay? See? Or say, you know, like February, oh, February or March the 3rd, for example. Uh, um, so, well, this is just a little anecdote that I want to share with you because I think it makes very clear the importance on stressing this, this idea of knowing which one is the month, day, the month, and the year. Okay? So now I will turn the camera again. And we're going to check, for example, you know, some cases on, um, on writing, you know, the dates. Okay, so for example, this one here, of course, is for us the 1st of January, you know, of 2023. Primero de Enero. And look at this that I have a stress here, you know, like a highlighted with red. So when you're writing the dates, uh, for example, 
¿no? The, the next one is 2 de julio, ¿no? The second of July. Or 3 de julio, 4 de julio. But the first day, the first day of the month in Spanish, we always say primero, primero. ¿Ah? We don't say uno de enero, no. We say primero, the first, primero. Like ordinary uh, number, okay? So the rest, you can say 2 de julio, 3 de mayo, 4 de septiembre, no problem, okay? So, we're going to pronounce it, okay? The first date is primero de enero de 2023. The next one is 2 de julio de 1999. The next one, 12 de octubre de 2002. This one here is 2 de mayo. 2 de mayo. And this one, 11 de diciembre. Okay? Uh, and now I would like you to do a little practice. I have here some dates and I would like you to practice uh, writing the dates uh, here in the comment section or in a paper if you feel more comfortable and just give me a thumbs up if you finish, if you had the dates. Okay, so I will tell you one by one. Okay, so the first one here. Uh -huh, sorry. 2 de marzo. Muy bien, Marlene. Excelente, amiga. Muy bien. 2 de marzo. Muy bien. Natalie, how was it? Good? Sí. Next one. Sí, muy bien. Excelente. This one here. Okay, the second one. The one below. Mm -hmm. Let me know who finished. 15. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> 15 de julio. Natalie, very close the writing. Very close, but I know you know it. Muy bien. Next one, 15 de Julio Martín. You always shining, always. Caitlin, excelente. Muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. Marlene is going for the next one. 30 de enero. 30 de enero, Marlene. Muy bien. Very close, very close. Huh? No worries, Marlene. Excelente. No worries. Liz, next one. This one was 30 de enero. This one here. Let me also try to move a little bit the camera, oh, sorry, the page, so you can also see a little bit. Oh, let me try to move this upwards. I don't know if I can do it. I hope I can. Oh, maybe this is going to be a mess. <laughs> but well, just let me give you an idea of how this looks, okay? So one last check of the month, if you would like to, you know, like remember it. Mm -hmm. And now we're going down again, okay? Just wanna help you. I know how important it is to check on the, on the days. I think we are right. We haven't lost any number, okay? Next one. 14 de agosto, excelente, 14 de agosto, Caitlin, muy bien. Next one, here. Mm -hmm. Who finished? If you finish, it turns up, please. 7 de junio, muy bien, excelente, Natalie, excelente, I'm happy you are Finishing so fast. Mm -hmm. Next one. Here. 
this is my favorite month in the year because it's the month of my birthday. Okay. <laughs> Anyone have finished? Cinco de septiembre, Martin. Fantastic. Brilliant. Caitlin, cinco de septiembre. Ah, no worries. Cinco de septiembre. Muy bien. Next one. This one is a fan date. Everybody around the world, or most of the people around the world, has a, a special celebration in that day. Hello, hello, Wendy. <laughs> it's called Halloween, right? Halloween. So this one here is 31 de octubre. This one here. <laughs> Who has finished this one? Muy bien. This one is 28 de julio. This is a very important day because it's the day uh, of the independence of Peru. Hmm? Excelente, Natalie. This one here, this is a, another very famous celebration, global celebration. Ah, Natalie, this one here, of course, is very important. The very last one. Primero de Enero. Muy bien. And this one, Natalie, you skip this one here. The one before the last one. <laughs> you are very fast, Natalie. Very fast. 25 de Diciembre, Martin. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Oh, that is Navidad. Navidad. We're going to have the chance eventually to talk about the holidays in Spanish. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do some examples here of, of, for closing this class today. Uh, so first of all, the question you see here uh, is, muy bien, Natalie, Navidad, Christmas, ¿no? ¿Qué día es hoy? ¿Qué día es hoy? Okay, dear students, ¿qué día es hoy? Hoy es... <laughs> Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, hoy es today. <laughs> Ajá. Muy bien, Kaylin. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Viernes. Viernes, exactly. Easy. Mañana es... ¿Qué día es mañana? Mañana es... Muy bien, tomorrow is Natalie. Muy bien, Martín. Sábado, Carrie, Saturday. Yes, of course. Muy bien, but in Spanish is sábado. I know you know it, Carrie. Muy bien, Marlene. Are you teasing me, guys? Y ayer, ayer fue, ayer fue, So, today is viernes, mañana es sábado, ayer, jueves, Kaylin, muy bien. Ayer is yesterday, yesterday. Ajá, ajá, ayer is yesterday. Mañana is tomorrow, and it's a word you will use a lot in Latin America. <laughs> <laughs> mañana or later, you know, relax, go with the flow. That's something we like. It's a very Latin American vibe. <laughs> so, and next question. Uh, ayer fue, sí, ayer is was. Fue, sorry, fue is was. Yes, Martín. It refers to the past. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, okay, your birthday. Okay. 
Ayer was, exactly, Natalie. Yesterday was, ayer fue, oh, ayer fue jueves, Thursday. Mm -hmm. No worries, Natalie, no worries. So now we're going to do finally and now correctly your birthday, okay? Your birthday. So, ¿cuándo es tu cumpleaños? When is your birthday? Now you know how you have to uh, write it in proper Spanish. Okay, when someone asks you, ¿cuándo es tu cumpleaños? So, please... Here in the comment section, once again, and now in the Latino, Latin American, Spanish proper way, uh, please write it. For example, you all know that my birthday is, es el 15 de septiembre. 15 de septiembre. Okay? Or if you just want to say the month, es en septiembre. Okay? So, Cari says, 9 de abril. Muy bien. Marlene es el 3 de marzo. Perfecto. Caitlin, 6 de septiembre. Janet es el 24 de junio. Excelente, Janet. Martín es el 10 de julio. Natalie es el 6 de mayo. Excelente. Marlene es en marzo. Muy bien. Clive es en marzo. Excelente, amigos. Excelente. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Uh, I am so happy you were able to practice with me a little bit more of Spanish. Es en mayo, Marlu. Muy bien. Muy bien, amiga. Thank you so, so much for coming today to this class. As you know, these are free classes that I, I wanted to share with you all with the only intention of sharing a little bit of the of Peruvian culture and what can be a better form of learning about the culture of someone uh, than through their language. No? So I know many of you probably wanted to travel to Latin America in the future. I hope that you come to Peru. If you do that, please come to Lima, visit me. I would love to be your, your guy here in Lima. And also we can go out and you can practice your Spanish at the market. You can buy some, you know, goodies, you know, and I'm sure you're going to be using your Spanish, you know, like everywhere, everywhere you go in Latin America. I think that the best way to, to travel is also through using the or trying to use the local language because people really like immediately you can see their eyes like, you know, like blinking when someone that they ob obviously know is not local, you know, is using their language. You know, like people say, oh, that's so nice. And they even give you discounts. So if you want to get discounts try to speak in Spanish. <laughs> Amigos, muchas gracias for your tip support. Gracias, Kaylee. Gracias, Clive. Amigo, muchas gracias. Martin, Nancy. Also, if you would like to get through two private Zoom lessons eh, additional, because, you know, through Zoom, I can hear you. I can also correct you. We can have a better uh, communication. Uh, please consider becoming my sponsor with just a $10 fee per month. I am giving two Zoom private classes for my sponsors. We have a very nice small group yet um, to practice uh, Spanish. Uh, so this is additional to my free open classes in Hegel. The idea is that you can get, uh, you know, into, into Spanish faster also with these lessons. So also thanks a lot for your tip support because it helps me a lot and Hegel a lot. Uh, either the tips and also the subscriptions to the sponsorship, they are shared, they are split with Hegel. So in that way, Hegel can continue existing as a free platform that connects us all around the world with these beautiful activities and tours and events, you know, that you can assist anytime. Also, I invite you to follow my channel. Somewhere in the upper part, you can see a follow button. If you don't see it, it's because you already follow me. Um, I will be doing lots of events coming, like very interesting about history, city tours. I always do every week uh, tours. Uh, and if you want to see my recorded events, you can do it on YouTube. Um, my links to YouTube to my uh, Facebook group are also in my Hago channel.
So Hale has been nice enough to allow us guys to share all our personal information with you all, with, with you know, like um, open and free. So thanks a lot also to Hago to what they are doing. Gracias, Helen. Gracias, Karin. Gracias, amiga linda. Thank you, thank you. So, well, uh, I hope to see you very soon. Uh, tomorrow I have two tours. Uh, you are all invited. One is a photography tour and the other one is a sunset tour. So I'm sure you're going to have a lovely, lovely afternoon with me. Uh, I hope you can make it to those tours. See you very soon. Gracias, gracias, amigos. Gracias, mis queridos estudiantes. Thanks, my dear students. And see you very soon. Gracias, Kaylin. Gracias, amigos. Gracias, Natalie, Marlene. Thank you so much, Clive. Amigo, gracias for, for coming. Thank you, thank you. It really means a lot to me. Gracias. Thanks to you all. See you, Marilu. Gracias. Bye-bye.